Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. So, this is actually the first time I've gone live on this phone. Um, I hope it works out okay. Please ignore the towel. Thomas is going to shower as soon as I'm done in here. So, I'm going to have to make it kind of quick. Um, but, I'm super excited to be going live again. And having a new phone and all that jazz. I washed my hair today. Like, I have my life together right now. Besides the fact that I don't have my ring light. That's like the only downside. It's uh, currently under repair. So that's where we're at with that. Um, I'm going to start actually with my eye makeup. I'm using Reverent Liquid Eyeshadow. And I just swipe it on my lid. It has a little doe foot applicator. I'm telling y'all, liquid eyeshadow is like eyeshadow for dummies all right okay so i'm going to take my little crease brush and i'm just going to blend it out because you want to blend it while it's still a little wet just because i mean once it dries it dries like a powder so it doesn't crease it doesn't smudge it doesn't anything okay it literally lasts me all day like i've gotten 14 hour wear out of these eyeshadows of course, Thomas just texted me and told me to come let our dogs back inside. That's not going to happen. Um, maybe I can voice text him. I'm live, period. Okay. That did work out. Alright, so, as I let this dry, because when it does dry, you can use regular eyeshadow with it and I always like to put a little pop of darker color back there of course you don't have to you can just leave it like this and you're good to go I mean there's literally nothing wrong with that I'm just a little extra sometimes um so while I let that dry I'm going to do my eyebrows I'm using my brow palette and I use the shade brunette because it most closely matches my eye eye brow color my natural eyebrow color so I'm going to use this number one which is a light brown and I'm just going to make a little wrist flicks so that it mimics natural hair. If you're watching, will you say hi? I don't know if my comments are working. So send some hearts, say hi, because it's showing me that I have one viewer or two viewers, but I can't tell. Uh, it's not telling me who anyone is or who's watching, nothing like that. And then it keeps going and telling me the low network connection. So sorry about that. Um, so if you're new here, new to my business page or whatever, um, I live in the country. And so the best that my Wi-Fi can be is HughesNet. And so it's satellite Wi-Fi. It rained last night, so I'm certain that it's not going to work properly all morning. But we're doing the best we can here. So, I'm using number two, which is a darker brown, and I'm filling in the side of my brows. And then we're going to go back to the eyeshadow. Good morning, good morning. Let me take a drink of my coffee. I have been just like, so I like black coffee, but I've just been taking my coffee making it like normal taking my cup putting some ice in it pour my coffee in and then pouring in a caramel protein shake it's so good like i just have to say it's pretty perfect um okay so i'm taking my blending brush now in this darker brown color and i'm gonna put that color right here in my outer corner and then kind of blend it through my crease just so that there's not like a harsh line there. Do you see how easy this eyeshadow was? Like, wow, impressed. I need to, sh well, I can wait. I was gonna say I should share this onto my regular timeline because obviously, friends, we're not used to me being live on this page yet. But I felt like it was probably the best way. That way I could have like my personal page and then this too. It's like a little bit of 
sanity for myself. I don't know. Okay. On to the eyelashes. Um, let's see here. Where's my lash curler? So I curl my lashes just like this. And then I scoot more toward the middle of my lash and I turn the curler up so that it really turns my lashes up too. And you should always curl your lashes before you apply mascara. Um, okay, lash primer. This is something that I was like, wow, that's so extra, I don't need. And now I seriously don't go a day without it. I mean, I feel like it has crazily improved my lashes. It sets the curl, it nourishes them, it conditions them. It's kind of like uh, everything in one tube. Love it, and of course I use a lash serum. I can hear my dogs barking. Now they're inside. Okay, so. You okay? It's freezing outside. Good thing I have a cardigan on. Huh? Good thing I have a cardigan on. I'm live, you know that, right? No, I didn't. I texted you that. I had to my phone. I thought you were just being silly. No. Okay, one second, because I like to apply my mascara like looking downward into a mirror. It makes it so much easier for me and like less messy. I don't know what my hair has going on for itself right now, but it just needs to get out of my face. Um, I'm using 4D mascara, which is one step fiber infused mascara. It has a double sided wand. So you just make like a zigzag shape. Ugh, scared myself. A zigzag shape to really interlock the fibers onto your lashes. And then you just roll the wand and do the same thing. I call it a zigzag shape. Some people call it a Z shape. Just wiggle and twist, okay? Don't overcomplicate it, but wiggling it versus applying it like regular mascara does make a really big difference in how your lashes look when it's all said and done. And you'll notice that the whole time that I'm applying here, I have not dipped it back into the tube. That is because there's literally so much product on the wand that you don't need to. I mean, obviously I will for my next eye, but there's plenty of product for one eye. And you'll also notice that I really build it up on the outside corner because that really makes your lashes look more dramatic. Okay, on to the next one, friends. And you can like twirl your wand in the, um, in the tube instead of pumping it. Because when you pump it, you allow air in there and that will dry your mascara out faster. Just a fun fact. I'm like making really good time this morning. I have impressed myself, but I'm not done yet, so we'll see. It's so weird talking to myself. I really hope that this um, is actually recording and isn't like all kinds of funky. Fingers crossed here. Okay. Oh, I guess I should do my lower lashes. I hate like the focus that it takes to do my lower lashes. I don't like to be quiet on a live. Notice the Band-Aid. My nail is cracking in the middle, of course. I knew better than to keep them long. 
I'm gonna have to get them cut down. I don't know what I have going on right here, but I don't like it. I'm so picky, friends. So, so picky. Especially about my eye makeup, which is why I typically do it not live. I've got something in my eyeball, which is the problem here. I guess I stabbed myself. I don't know. My contact is like all kinds of funky. I can't see anything. Okay, hold on. Wow, ridiculous. My eye is like killing me. We're just gonna move on blindly, literally. Cause like I've never even had it smudge under my eye. I don't know what I just did. It's all over my fingers. I can't handle myself right now, of course. Okay, um, just to finish doing the face with my October bundle. So you'll start with primer. I am using the hydrating primer because I have dry skin. We also have a regular primer. Both primers are really silky. They're not going to leave you oily unless you're using way too much. Um, you just apply. I usually will like brush my teeth or something after I apply my primer just to let it dry. Um, primer is going to help fill in your fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. It's going to help your foundation ap apply smoothly. I stuttered on that. And... It's just going to give you like an overall flawless canvas to apply your makeup to. So then, I think I'm going to go the liquid foundation route again today. Um, so I'm going to take a blending bed and I'm just going to run it under the faucet and then wring it out. It just needs to be a little bit damp. Dry my hand off. And then my liquid foundation is the shade Organza. If you need a color match, you can leave the word match in the comments. It's a completely free consultation. And I can also show you how to try on products virtually so you can see if that color would be a good match for you. So I emptied the dropper into the bottle and now I am shaking it. It's super important that everything in the bottle is the same consistency. So now I'm going to drop it onto the blending bed. I literally have four drops and I'll show you. This one's a little bigger than what I usually use, but it kind of ran out. Um, I do apply it to my neck, but I use the blending bed to just distribute it over my face. And then I actually take, which I'll show you in just a second, this powder concealer brush the powder in and i just make small circles to blend in my foundation so the liquid foundation does turn to a powder finish or it's, it's more of a matte finish and so my brush will still be dry whenever i'm finished blending and so if you use um like a setting powder you would still be able to use this brush for setting powder as well. I use setting spray most of the time because I have dry skin, but you know, it would work. Um, liquid foundation, now that we have other foundation options, would not be my first um, suggestion if you had oily skin. It is okay for oily skin, but the stick foundation or the spray foundation, and of course pressed powder, are gonna be better options now that they're available. Um, okay, so next we're gonna take concealer. I use Scarlet, which is the neutral equivalent of the shade that I use um, because I like to highlight and brighten up the area under my eyes. Where is my concealer? I wish I knew, friends. I wish I knew. Now I feel like I have to like grab out whatever I do see that I need because I don't know what I've got. Uh, the struggle 
was real. I mean, it's a Wednesday that feels like a Monday because here I am. I was going to be early and now I'm like borderline late. Can't find my concealer. I probably left it in freaking Nashville just knowing my luck. Oh, okay. Way down here. Sometimes I think my makeup bag has a hole in it, y'all. Has like hidden pockets and stuff. It's got to. I'm convinced. So, okay. That's the end of that. The cats found the um, lid to the rose water that we lost the other night. Okay, so I just put the concealer on my thumb. Um, it's really a thick product. And so, if it can warm up on your skin, it makes it easier to blend. I just spilled my coffee. I'm just falling apart, okay? Hashtag Hot Mess Express. Um, take my concealer. And apply that to brighten up areas of your face. And then also, you can use it to add coverage. Now, of course, if you really need to cover blemishes with concealer, I recommend using the same shade as your foundation. But since I'm highlighting, I don't, I go lighter. Although it's not really lighter, it just looks lighter because it's not the same undertone. I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but undertones play a huge role in our foundations. And that's why I personally like to color match my customers versus having them use like the beauty guide on my website. I mean, the beauty guide is a good tool, but it's not the only tool. So now I'm just gonna take this in and kind of buff it so that there's not like a harsh line here. Let me wipe my thumb off. And then, we're gonna take the blusher brush and apply a little bit of blush and bronzer and I will be good to go. I mean, I have really impressed myself with my time management this morning. I won't lie, I'm usually always late. Might have went a little heavy on the bronzer, honestly. I've gotten used to having a spray tan and now the spray tan's gone for the first time today. It's going on my face anyway. Oh well, we'll make it work. Okay, we're done. We're gonna set it with setting spray and go enjoy our work day if we can okay fingers crossed that all of you can what, what? Who enjoys work day? some people really love their jobs thomas okay setting spray set the space and out the door i go goodbye friends i hope you have a fabulous wednesday